Hello, it's Carl Dannenberger at The Ohio State University. I'm standing here about on December 31st, and actually, as you can see, we've gotten some snow since my last video, and uh, it's still pretty cold. At this time of the year, both cool and warm season grasses are as cold hardy as they're going to get. So, this time of the year, we wouldn't expect any kind of damage uh, uh, to turf grasses. But since that last video, you can see that we have snow uh, on this on this putting green. And actually, snow's a nice cover, even though it can be extremely cold air temperature-wise, and even with uh, wind chill, be very cold. If you have a snow cover, it tends to act like a blanket and protect the plant, so the temperature remain, stays around freezing to the plant. So actually, snow cover is a desirable aspect. Now the disadvantage to it too is if it's on too long you can get snow molds uh, uh, that can develop uh, under the snow cover and, and many people further north will treat for those diseases. The other thing too as you'll notice is uh, if you look down here um, the snow is, uh, is uh, soft and melting and where I've stepped it's still kind of watery. Uh, at this time of the year it shouldn't be a big problem but as when we get into uh, late winter and uh, early spring this kind of activity where we press water closer to the crown and it freezes and thaw can cause uh, freeze injury to the turf plant. So in those kind of situations you want to keep skiers, uh, you want to keep snowmobiles, you want to keep people off off your greens when the snow or, or whatever becomes slushy even this time of the year too.